Today we are looking at TypeScript types. Now we've covered generating TypeScript types a couple times. I'll link you the videos below. But um, we've been iterating on this and we've been adding more useful type helpers that I want to focus on today. Uh, specifically, these are type shorthands for tables and enums. Uh, but also response types for complex queries. So for example, for joins, when you have kind of nested uh, relationships within your tables, uh, you can actually use some helpers that we've introduced. Um, They're called query results, query data, uh, and query error to get um, the types, the nested types with the relations included. But let's start from the top. So here I have a new empty project and I'm just going to initialize it with um, the Superbase CLI. So now I have my um, Superbase folder in here and now we can say Superbase migrations new and we're going to create an init migration. So here we're getting a new generated migrations file and we're just going to uh, create the simple countries and cities um, table here. So um, we're basically just creating a table with countries. Uh, and then every city uh, basically references exactly uh, one country. So we have here um, a one to many. So one country uh, links to many cities. So a one to many relationship. So let's give that a save. And now we can call um, the generation um, function here. So we can say uh, superbase gen types TypeScript. Uh, and we can call this on a local uh, instance as well. So now I'm going to use this within uh, just superbase functions because that's great. So let's actually superbase functions new. Let's create the function first, and we're just um, going to call it um, type testing. So now you can see we have a new uh, functions folder here. Uh, and then within the functions folder, I'm just going to create a new folder uh, shared. And so this is where we're going to generate our type definitions into. So we say superbase gen types TypeScript. Um, for our local instance, and we're going to say schema uh, equals public. And then we're going to write this into our uh, superbase functions uh, shared. And then just we're going to say database dot types dot TypeScript. And yes, we need to be uh, running Superbase start. So now we're spinning up our uh, local Superbase database. And when we do this with Superbase start, then our um, migrations here are applied. Okay, great. Now we're up and running. Now we run our Superbase gen types TypeScript. Okay, there we are. This was pretty quick. And so now you can see here, um, we have our database tables, we have our cities, um, we have the relationships So you can see here that is um, used to generate uh, the nested types and then we have our countries. And now we have a couple of type helpers here. Uh, so we have tables, um, we have table insert, tables update. Uh, and then enums as well, some helpers. So um, this is exactly the part here, these type shorthands. So where previously we do, you would have to step through database, public, tables, movies, row, what have you. So we can now do this um, quite easily here with the tables shorthand. So let's have a look at that. So in our function here, um, yeah, first of all, we need to make sure we um, enable Dino. So what we can do is we can um, create a new file. So in a dot VS code 
um, folder. We can create a setting start JSON file. And then in this file, we can say um, Dino dot Dino dot enable um, true. And then we only want to enable Dino for we can say enable paths. Uh, and here we can specify superbase slash functions. So these are our Dino functions. And now we can see um, we're good here and we're getting our um, types and definitions and everything. Great. So now what we can say is we can import um, from superbase uh, JS. So uh, we can use HTTPS. Uh, no, not this one, we can use esm.sh. And then just as you would um, import superbase slash superbase hyphen JS. And then we want the latest version, give that a save. And then what we can do is we can update the specifier. And then we can have the uh, create client and then uh, we can say const superbase equals create client and we can get the dino.env.get um, and we have the superbase URL. Now these are uh, preset variables um, for your project. So we don't need to manually set them. Uh, and we can set the uh, superbase anon key. Great. And now, um, in order to feed in our um, database uh, types, we can just import from um, the shared the shared uh, database types. We can import the database. And then now we can also import the tables, the table definitions. And so now we're feeding here our database to our oop, database to our Superbase client. And so now our Superbase client is typed with our um, tables. So now when we're writing um, a Superbase query, so await Superbase um, from. So here we have our uh, nice autocomplete that we used to. Um, and let's say, okay, we have uh, so countries and then we want to select um, star. So let's just select everything. And then you know, we have um, a data or an error response. And so data is an, you know, potentially array of countries or um, null. So now if we're saying, um, if error, we'll just throw um, the error. And otherwise, we can say, um, maybe say const first country, and so now we would say, okay, this is of type. Um, and here you can see, so we get the, the autocomplete for our available tables um, equals, and then we say data. Uh, and let's just grab the first country in here. And so you can see that our country response uh, is made out of um, the type, you know, tables, countries. So in this case, um, we could also just say, okay, the uh, data response here is um, an array of um, table rows, you know, of the countries, basically. So these are um, the shorthands here, they, they're really nice, really, really convenient. Now, let's say we have um, a more complex query. So here in the example, um, we're doing a, a join. So countries um, with cities. So we have um, this query here. Uh, so countries with cities and what we're doing is we're selecting 
the ID and the name of the countries. Um, and then we want to nest all the country cities, um, the ID and the name as well in there. So we have a countries with cities um, query. And we, we can see that um, we have the types here kind of with, with super space in there. But how can we extract um, this type? Now we have a new um, query result and query data types here. So for example, we can create the type for um, our query data um, like this. So if we have our query here, um, we can say then countries with cities, the type is our query data. And our query data we can import here from um, Superbase.js. So this is a helper type that's available um, from Superbase.js version 239.0. Um, and so now we can uh, basically here generate this type, um, this nested type for this uh, specific query that has here the relation kind of nested in the join kind of built in. So we have countries with uh, cities, so our query data. Um, and so what we can see here is, um, you know, now we would um, execute this um, query. So um, basically, instead of, you know, here, so here, we wouldn't await the query, we're basically just generating the query um, to use it later on. And so by generating this query, we can then extract the type um, with our query data helper. Uh, so if our countries with um, cities, and then we can say now here, um, our countries with cities. So our data countries with cities um, is our data here. And so now we can then see um, maybe const cities. We then have the type completion where let's take the first country and then cities um, and then maybe the first city, and then you know, we have a name. So um, yeah, so we have kind of the end to end type safety there, even for complex queries that include joins. So there it is, these are the new helpers. So we have our um, query data. Um, we have the uh, query result. So the query result is um, basically this one here, the data and the error taken together. Um, that is the, the query result. So this, this uh, here, and then we can have the query data. And um, this, you know, is the query data, this is the query error. So these are now um, from version 239 onwards, we have them in Superbase JS. And then also uh, from, you know, if you upgrade the uh, Superbase uh, CLI version and generate your types, you now get um, database, you get the table shorthands and the enums uh, helpers so that you can use to make your code base cleaner uh, and more typed end to end. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.